Hey, it's Phoebe and today I'm exploring Khao Yai. Now you can't fly directly to Khao Yai. It's a few hours road trip from Bangkok. So that's where I've flown to today. I just got off my plane. I'm about to go and grab my bags and then we're gonna meet our driver and our guide and we're gonna road trip out there together with a few stops along the way. Now I have never heard of or been to this part of Thailand before. I didn't know it existed. Apparently the national park is epic and I'm staying at the most amazing hotel. I cannot wait to see it. So I guess this is gonna be a bit of a brand new adventure for the both of us, right? Let's see what it's all about. Let's get our bags. Let's meet our guide and have an amazing trip together. Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you again. It's so good to see you. Look at you. If you've been watching this channel for any great length of time, you will recognize my guide. I have been reunited with the one, the only, Nam! How did I do that? was my fault! Nam, like the first thing she did when she sees me, she's like, let's get you some donuts. <laughs> so she's got me some donuts. Oh, we're fucking up. Um, and she met me at the gate, which is fantastic. Now, Nam, if you remember, she works for Absolutely Fantastic Holidays. I'll have them linked below for you. We are just waiting for the driver to pull up and then we are road tripping, baby! <laughs> All right, Nam's just giving me the lowdown and welcome to, the, welcome to our massive car. Just you and me, we've got the whole thing to ourselves. So get comfy because it's about a three hour drive north North to Khao Yai. <laughs> Northeastern, like a central. Northeastern, yep. So Nam has said we might make a stop. Where are you, Nam? We're gonna make a stop maybe along the way if yes, this place maybe is open. Yes, maybe along the way, right. Yeah, but if not, never fear because Nam has gotten us our box of donuts. Krispy Kremes. Oh yeah, let's eat one now. Let's go with chocolate with sprinkles. Oh, I'm so glad my body is back. <laughs> We've been driving for about two hours, so it's time for a stop at Bar A Tim. This place is famous for great ice cream, um, homemade ice cream, and coffee, but the flavors are really weird. There's like Papaya salad ice cream, spicy mint salad, neem and sweet fish sauce, salted egg, wasabi. <laughs> Maybe I'm a wuss. I've just played it safe. I, I can't eat papaya ice cream. Uh, no, papaya salad ice cream? That's, that's a wild decision. The crab on top of it was freaking me out. So I've just got um, chocolate and banana and coconut milk, which is I mean, banana and chocolate, yes, right? Let's jam them together and let's just see if that, that has to taste good, right? Mmm, yum. That is really good ice cream. Oh, this is the perfect time for a stop. I've just been listening to Sword and Scale podcast episodes while I've been in the car. It's passed the time really nicely. And I actually kind of like the drive. It's like really relaxing. It's time to switch off and just bliss out for a little while while you listen to podcasts. here at our accommodation, the Intercontinental Khao Yai. And this hotel is unreal. Now, I'm kind of excited because it was dark when we got here. I can see the buildings, I can get a feel for the concept, but I can't see everything because it's dark and I sort of love that. It means that when we wake up tomorrow, we've got this surprise on our hands because we don't really know what it looks like and we don't really know what the area looks like. But I don't know if you can tell from what you're seeing around me, but the theme of this hotel is like a train carriage and my room is like a luxury train carriage. I was gonna film it and kind of give you a bit of a room tour tonight, but the footage is really grainy, obviously, because it's low light. So I'm thinking instead, let's go get some dinner from the restaurant and then tomorrow morning, 
we'll do a full room tour and I will show you this place in all its glory because I am, I've never stayed anywhere like this. Imagine for a second you live in Bangkok and you are in this very big city with all of its big buildings and so you get in your car and you drive three hours and you end up here. This is stunning, it's so lush, the gardens are just beautiful. I totally understand now <laughs> why everybody was saying this place is all about the nature. Now, yes, nature. Yes, also to breakfast. <laughs> so I've come back down to Som Ying's kitchen for breakfast this morning. What I love is they do a buffet, but they also do an a la carte menu, which is fantastic. I don't always love a buffet. I think I'm very lucky I get to stay at a lot of hotels and I just get tired of them, quite simply. And I like something that's a little more special. So I have got everything. We've got some coffee. They have oat milk. Yes. Um, these potatoes. Oh my God. I live for a spud. Whatever is on this, however they have cooked this, holy crap, that. Oh my God, that is so good. Pancakes, my favorite. And then this little avocado on toast. I got it without the cream cheese and it was meant to have smoked salmon on top, but that actually looks more like a, a tuna. I'm into it either way. And what I love about the a la carte portion sizes is they're very small, so you can order lots of them. <laughs> Let's start with this one. Yum. Mm. There's a really lovely little dressing on top of that. In today's edition of How Do I Want to Be Loved Today, aka The Overcoming Anxiety Story, I've ordered a different coffee. It's not that the first one was bad, the first one was good, the coffee is good, it's just not how I like to drink my coffee. So normally I would just drink it and think, well, I don't want to inconvenience anybody, or I'd feel so awkward. Just awkward, just anxious about it, the, the, the social anxiety, I can't bring myself to ask. But the server was so lovely, came over, how was everything? I said, absolutely fantastic. The coffee, do you present it in a different format? Cappuccino style maybe, that's me, oat milk baby, get it out here. And he was like, I got you. So here it is. <laughs> this is a little cup of self-love today. Oh my God, imagine it's terrible and I've ordered it and now I just have to drink it anyway. No, oh, that's me. That's delicious. <laughs> driven here to the Kalyan National Park. Now it didn't take very long, let's say between 30 and 60 minutes, but it's not that it's a long drive, it's just a winding one. And we have entered the National Park and look how tame this guy is. Wow! <laughs> That's a deer! Oh dear! And it's really cute! It's so chilled! It doesn't, doesn't seem to mind that I'm right up on it. <laughs> The National Park is huge, it's around 2,100 square kilometers and there is a lot to see and do in here. Lots of hiking trails, you can do a bit of a night safari, um, there are wild elephants here, I would love to see them but that's a difficult thing to achieve, especially in the middle of the day. Um, you can visit waterfalls, you can see the deer, there's food, there's lots of things to do. We're going to go and check out a waterfall and just explore a little bit. Are you ready 
Not too hard at all. Um, there are some quite steep steps on the way down, which I think are going to be a bit of a booty burn on the way up, but I think it's worth it. It really was only a short walk and it is so beautiful. Now, the waterfall itself is only 25 meters or so, but you can't swim in it. And we did see a really cute green snake hanging around as well. So just be careful. Um, and the rocks can be a little bit slippery, but I had no trouble shimmying out there to get the shot anyway. Wow, I am so glad I'm visiting this part of Thailand. I've not done the national park, jungly, nature, waterfall scene here before. I mean, Chiang Mai, yes, but this is different. This is just gorgeous. just set up on the side of the road so Nam said let's stop and try some food now this market is very local very rough and ready and I said to Nam will I die if I eat some of this food and she was like maybe not the chicken <laughs> good for me I don't eat chicken anyway so we're gonna have some takoyaki and I saw something else that I want to get up there as well so let's start with the takoyaki and then have something else this is what traveling's all about right I've never gone home from a trip and was like, oh no, you enjoyed trying too many foods. This is the time. Eat while you can and eat whatever you can, when you can. Wow. Those are insects, crickets, bugs. Would you actually eat those? Would you ever actually eat those bugs? No. No? Normally no. Why are they here? Actually, you know, some people are quite you know, interesting to try, but some of the people, you know, who eat them like a normal life. Yeah. Alright, we're just gonna do some eating in the car. Yes you can. Takoyaki! If I get sick this is why. <laughs> it's happening right now. Oh, takoyaki. Oh my god. What? <laughs> it's so good! <laughs> Whoa! That's a really good takoyaki. Crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. Into your eyes. Did I see the signs? That's why I had you on the phone last night. Should have been on me, make you feel alright. Wish that we could go back and do this twice. You should have been there. I should have been there, babe. Yeah. Baby 
street food to fine dining. We are having dinner tonight at Poirot. It is located back at the Intercontinental Khao Yai. Now this is Khao Yai's first French restaurant. It is beautiful fine dining. You can eat inside in the train carriage behind me. I wanted to eat out here. It's beautiful on this deck. You're covered with the shade tail. It's a gorgeous temperature. It's a really stormy night so there's lightning hurtling through the sky which I absolutely love. And the menu is just gorgeous. You have your hors d'oeuvres, you have your main dishes of course, and then a couple of desserts to choose from. They were really trying to sell me on the beef, but I don't eat beef. So if you are a beef eater, I think you're going to be in for a treat because they were really keen on it. I've ordered the sea bass and it looks amazing, really well cooked. Um, I'm really excited to give it a go actually. <laughs> I love that we were eating like $1 street food and now we're at the fine dining restaurant. <laughs> oh, I can already tell this is going to be good. It's so tender and juicy. It has a coconut crumb. Um, there is something on the side. I do not know what this is. It's some kind of luxury seafood item. It's like crab or lobster or something and it looks great. The food here is amazing. And I love that they have a couple of different dining options so that if you were eating here a couple of meals in a row, you weren't just at the same place the whole time. There is a street cat out here that's about to share in some fine dining sea bass. exploring a few of the amazing cafes here in Khao Yai and I love Thailand's cafe culture. I love a cafe, so do Thai people. We have so much in common. Now the first one we're going to is a spot called the Birders Lodge. It is absolutely beautiful. It's all things timber and green. It's very earthy. It really does feel like a lodge. It's so beautiful. And they are famous for gelato. They're great cakes, but they're also famous for this. Okay, that is melting. We've had a real photo shoot with that, haven't we, Nam? <laughs> so that is melting. It's starting to look a little sad, but it is like a fairy floss situation on top of the coffee. Let me show you the coffee because I'm obsessed with this. This is something I've only really experienced in Thailand. It is tonic or soda water, I believe, with espresso on top, but they put a little syrup in there. This one should be orange based on the big chunk of orange in there. And this is my new favorite way to drink coffee. If you're thinking, how does espresso and soda water and orange go together? It just does. It's way better than milk. It is so refreshing. It's lighter. I, everywhere I go now, I'm looking for this in all the Thai cafes. It's my favorite. Let me stir it up and we'll give it a try. Oh yeah. If you've never tried coffee this way, you absolutely have to. It is something else. The first time I saw it, I was like, gross, who would have that? Me, I would have that. Once you start, you can't stop. It's unreal. It's so good. And then of course they have this beautiful brownie. Oh, so decadent. I took it easy at breakfast at the hotel this morning because I knew we were doing a cafe crawl. Mm. Happy food dance. This is so good. We all got something we need to escape. This man a day, so much to live up to. If you feel you can make do, baby, you need to move.
was just another page Don't lose yourself in counting down the days Just lean into it further Till you're going round in circles Oh, hi, oh is here at Piram Cafe. Now this place, I feel like I have arrived in a completely different country, honestly. <laughs> I feel like I am in the most beautiful wine region in somewhere like New Zealand or the US. It is absolutely stunning. I genuinely didn't know that Thailand could look like this. This place is spectacular. If you love wine, you want to come here and try some local wines. I mean, this is just gorgeous. What a spot for lunch. Now, I'll be very honest with you. I cannot fit another bite of food into my body. <laughs> Nam is laughing in the background. I am so full and I'm so glad I wore the skirt with the stretchy waistband. I am absolutely stuffed. I have had the nicest time visiting Khao Yai. Um, I never thought to come here. I never would have come here if the tourism board hadn't told me about it. I didn't even know it existed. And it's been so lovely seeing and experiencing a completely different part of a country I already love. I've had so much good food. I love seeing all of that nature and staying at the Intercontinental. It was just such a different experience for me and I'm, I'm grateful to have a, a bit of a new experience and a new perspective on Thailand. So if that's you and you want to see something different and you love nature, you should definitely come out here. It is absolutely beautiful. And with that, you guys, that brings this week's episode to a close. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Now, if you don't already, be sure to subscribe right now so you never miss a single episode and say hello in the comments below. I hope you have a great week ahead and I will see you with a brand new episode next week. Love ya. They could never be you, never be you.